Yo, what's up guys? What's going on? It's another unboxing, another awesome product from Super ATV. Look at that. Uh, yeah, you gotta support those American companies. Um, these were purchased. They don't pay me for my reviews. I'm not sponsored by them. I just like to represent them because of their customer service. Their products are awesome. Their lifetime warranty. And I... I have had a little issue with one of the hardware bolts and they took care of me. They replaced everything for free. No questions asked and sent me a whole kit. If you had, I had a video previously to this showing everything they sent me. So let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started with this. So the packaging was amazing. Um, no, no damage. Nice and sealed tape, everything protection. Excuse me. And this was coming from their headquarters so for you guys who are asking what did i purchase from them oh shit more hardware thank you guys appreciate it boom and this is what i'm talking about anything that comes with the product that you buy from them they will replace when something happens or breaks it doesn't happen all the time but if it does it feels good to be to know that you give them a call, you text them, you email them, whatever. They respond to you right away. And they get you back on the trails as fast as they can. They even uh, overnight stuff when they have to. So, okay. Uh, one other thing too is a lot of you are going to say that, oh, you could have bought the Walker Evans. Um, yeah, but the Walker Evans are way more expensive. And maybe they're way better. I have no idea. If anybody out there in UTV line has the Walker Evans, uh, send me a message or comment on this video and let me know how much you like them and what you like and dislike. Um, personally, the price on these, that's why I got them. That and that I know that I'm taken care of as a customer and they're going to warranty any problems that I can have. Or, But yeah, here you go, guys. They're nice, heavy. And these are going to be for your sway bars. Some people run linkages. Some people opt out to get the Walker Evans. I ended up getting these just because the way they treat me and, and how they make sure that I'm a happy customer. One thing I do got to say, though, I was really upset because there was no stickers. But whatever. It's not end of the world. I got a big ass sheet last time twice of them. So, but yeah. The build quality, you can adjust a little bit. Um, they look, they're heavy. I mean, these things are definitely going to keep the trailing arms from moving. Uh, or um, they recommend, you don't have, they don't, on their video, on their YouTube, they only had one mounted. You don't have to run both of these. Uh, for you guys that are rock crawling and all this other stuff is, um, they run one, I guess. Um, or it's, most of the people don't run uh, sway bars anymore when they're rock crawling for the articulation me i'm a desert runner baja i mean baja and um, also river bottoms so i'm looking for the most stability less body roll and performance i can get for my bang for the buck and like i said you can get these the walker evans or they look legit um but i went with this brand because they were way bit more affordable, very sturdy, very strong. And since the trailing arms I have are from them, I didn't want to risk it, buy some Walker Evans, and then not be able to use them for the trailing arms. I didn't do research on those Walker Evans to see if they fit all trailing arms. But I said, fuck it. I'll just, you know, keep it with the same brand. And I'm not, I'm going to say that they're awesome. I like them. I'm super happy with them. They don't think I don't think they're gonna um, fail on me because they're 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 like they're like little weights and they're sturdy as hell and in the off road industry sometimes more weight is better uh, I obviously I understand like in uh, when you're in sport bikes and cars it's a lot harder to put heavy items on your vehicles because you want lighter carbon fiber stuff like that but in the off road world. You want those tires planted, gripping, and getting you out of those corners, and basically making you feel confident in your driving skills. And these are going to definitely make me more confident. Not that I'm already not confident, but I just wanted that extra reinforcement in the back. 
So thank you guys. I appreciate it. They came with two thing, two hardwares. Um, and like I said, these, I bought them because I know they were going to take care of me. And if anything would happen or fail, they got my back. And I appreciate that. Their customer service is what sold me on more of their future items. If it, it, a lot of people in these uh, UTV industries and companies, they tend to forget that without the customers, they're nobodies. And yes, I guess they... And I'm and I'm gonna I'm gonna take some jabs out there because I'm very upset at these companies. Um, one of the companies I don't really, I never really cared for, just because I don't know. I guess the the price point and everything and customer service, um, very bad experience with them, which was my um, when I ended up buying the Pro XP that I have. W one of the ones that I saw that everybody was going to was Shock Therapy. This Shock Therapy that. I will always tell you when you meet me face to face or anywhere, I always say fuck shock therapy um, because of their customer service, because they got too big to the point where they don't care about you anymore. Um, another company, which is an awesome company. I don't like talking shit about them. I don't like saying anything bad about them, but I am kind of ticked off for the fact that they couldn't really 100% work with what I needed them to work with. And they're going to probably have excuses just like everybody else. But, um, and that company is Evo Performance or EVP. Their products are awesome. I do run their products on my machine. I was just very upset when I purchased uh, one of their items that didn't work. And um, there was, yes, there was multiple options given to me. But I don't think the options that were given to me at the time was what I wanted. And... To this day, they still haven't been able to f work with me. I just asked for a discount code so I could purchase one of their items again. And I'm talking about the Catch Can. If you have the first gen Catch Can, it was a failure for any Polaris product, any Polaris machines. You put those Catch Cans, they don't work. Uh, you have to make sure you get the second gen. And even then, I wouldn't be able to tell you because I don't have the second gen Catch Can. All I know, if you guys are in the market for a Catch Can, go with RPM Power Sport. They work, never had any failures, and so does uh, Geyser Performance. They didn't have any failures on their catch cans either. Um, but yeah, enough about that. You know, I still love those guys. I can't wait to see them out here because they're in my backyard all the time. And Super ATV, like I said, anything that they make is awesome. It's going to be, it's been put in, it's been proven to be awesome. They have rough terrains where they're from. Uh, they go mud bogging. They do everything in those UTVs that you can think of. Um, another company that I freaking hate the most is Assassin. And everybody that says that Assassin products are amazing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, maybe for the old Razors they were. But for my Pro XP, every single item I bought for Assassin was garbage. And they, all these other people that are saying something else, are saying that they have good experience with it. I, I tend not to believe them anymore because nothing that they gave me or that I bought, not, not gave me, but anything that I bought from Assassin did not work for my machine. But whatever enough about that check these out they're affordable they're gonna make you have less body roll or even remove all the body roll and i remember when i first purchased my uh, the 2020 pro xp that i had that was the main thing that i always hated that i would make me cringe was the rear of the body just it swayed so much in the cornering that you literally had to give it more gas to just get over that feeling so this is going to make it way better, stronger, faster, and give me that confidence to beat anybody out there. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys, anything that you want uh, from RPM Power Sport, hit me up. I got a discount code that gives you up to 25% off. Let's uh, buy more RPM Power Sport stuff. Thank you. And uh, also Super ATV. I don't have any coupon codes, but if they do want to get, reach out to me and give me some coupon codes for my followers and the people that I hang out with in the groups, I would love for you guys to reach out to me and keep. Uh, I want to keep supporting you guys, so thank you very much. Sorry for boring you guys with this uh, video. Have an awesome weekend this weekend. Be safe, guys. Enjoy your machines. Ride until they fucking fall apart, and then fix them and go riding again. The last frontier, the last freedom we have is off-roading. So thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day.